This video is brought to you by scan.co.uk, check out the link in the description for more details. Hello guys, Jack here and today we're taking a look at the most absurd gaming system I've ever got to play around with. This is the Scan 3XS X99 Carbon Fluid Extreme SLI. Some of you may have already noticed but I've partnered up with Scan.co.uk and they've sent over an absolute beast of a gaming system to feature in a video. The specs of this thing are absolutely mental and I reckon in terms of gaming performance it's probably the best you can get right now. Later on in the video you're going to see me play Battlefield 1 at 8k resolution and we'll get onto that in just a little bit. So in the box you get the PC obviously, power cord and a starter pack with lots of information in there, numbers you can call, also the tests that were carried out on the system before it was shipped to you to make sure that everything is hunky dory. The PC itself then, very striking on first impression and obviously the custom water cooling loop there grabs your attention straight away. This is compromised of two EK Coolstream radiators, one at the front of the case and one at the back, and that pumps the white liquid around the system to keep it cool. So that's cooling both graphics cards and CPU in a nice loop. And what are those graphics cards you ask? Well that is two Titan X Pascal graphics cards, two of the most powerful cards that you can buy, and they kill games at 4K. We've got them running in SLI here with a nice EVGA bridge in between, fitted with EK water blocks for the cooling. And in this system, before you get your hands on it, Scan actually overclock these cards as well. So on the desktop, there's not much when you boot up, which I quite like, but you can see EVGA Precision X there, that's an overclocking tool. Load it up and you'll see an extra 175 megahertz on the GPU core and 250 megahertz on the memory. So a little bit of a boost there for more performance, but I reckon with a bit of careful tinkering you could probably push those a bit further as well. The CPU in here is an i7-6950X 10 core with hyperthreading CPU and it's been pre-overclocked stable to 4.2 gigahertz so for gaming it's going to destroy absolutely anything that you throw at it but also top of the line for rendering, streaming, 3D work, editing, you've just got so many cores there to use that in multi-threaded applications it's going to be ridiculous. As for memory we've got a whopping 32 gig in 4x8 configuration of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 to 666 MHz. The motherboard is the Asus ROG Strix X99 gaming board. You can just about see the branding at the back there. Always been a big fan of Asus boards and the built-in sound card on this one is the Supreme FX standard so it's going to sound pretty good. Power supply, Corsair 850 watt modular and that means that you're only going to use the cables that you need to. Very useful and that's plenty of power for a system like this. In terms of hard drive space, the boot drive is a 512GB Samsung 950 Pro SSD and that's an M2 PCIe drive and with those you're looking at 2500 MBS read and 1500 MBS write. So it's not messing around basically. Windows loads almost instantly as do games and accessing any files on that drive. The other hard drive tucked away at the back there is a Seagate 2TB 6GBS so you can whack all your games, TV shows, music, storage, questionable anime movies, anything on there really. 2TB is a lot of data. We've even got a Samsung DVD rewriter at the front there if you live in the Stone Age but it is always nice to have that option. The case is a black Corsair 760T and it's got that big open window there so you can see inside because obviously when you've got a system like this you want to see inside. You can open it and swing it around very easily. It just opens up with a little latch. No thumb screws required there. And taking a look at the back side of the case, again, that just pops open with a latch. And we get a nice look at the cable management happening here. It's very clean, I have to say. No loose cables. It's tight. Looks the business. Not that you'd ever take the back side of the case off, but there it is, anyways. It's pretty neat and tidy. I don't want to skim over the cooling system here either because this stuff is legit. The EK Coolstream radiators, fans, water blocks, there's just so much effective cooling going on here. It's really quiet as well even when you're gaming which I know will appease some people out there. 
And finally, before we look at some gaming performance, those RGB lights, what's their problem? Well, you can actually change the color of these via the Aura app on the desktop. This motherboard has a programmable lighting system and the LEDs are synced with it. Red, yellow, pink, green, anything on that color wheel there and you can do it. You can have them breathe, strobe, do pretty rainbow effects, turn them off if you want, even flash and glow with some of your favorite tunes. So that's a nice little overview of the system. The specs, as I promised, are mental. What about gaming performance? Well, 4K is the target here. If you're playing on a system like this at 1080p, then you need your head check in. So 4K it is, and naturally, Battlefield 1, it's just come out. It's probably the best looking game that's out right now. And we've got it here absolutely maxed out at 4K. What sort of frames do we get then? Well, there it is, at 4K on this system. With the combo of two Titan X GPUs and the 6950X processor, we are smashing over 120 FPS on maximum details. And that's just ridiculous. All we need now is that 4K 120Hz monitor for that buttery smooth gaming heaven. That'd be pretty nice. But really, I mean, that's just very impressive. Because if this system can do BF1 maxed out at 4K, sometimes even over 120 frames per second, it's just going to crush everything else, it's obscene. Now I wanted to test out some other levels too and with 64 players as well to get like an approximate average of your everyday gaming sessions. So I've made a little montage here and pay attention to the frame rate in the top left as well of the glorious action of course. We are losing. There we go, I guess it just speaks for itself really, doesn't it? Notice that I had anti-aliasing on there as well. Do you need it at 4K? Debatable, but if you wanted to turn it off, you probably wouldn't notice and you'd get a few extra frames per second as well. What about some benchmarks then for reference? Well, in 3D Mark Time Spy, 16843 and a pass mark rating of 6583. Now then, wrapping things up, something stupid, because why not, I'm pretty stupid. In Battlefield 1, we've got this little option here called Resolution Scale, and this allows you to render the game at a much higher resolution than your native monitor resolution. In this case, that's 4K. And if we input the command perf overlay draw screen info, we can actually see what resolution the engine is rendering the game at. Okay then, so for a laugh, let's whack the scale up to 200% and see what we get. 7680 by 4320. That's technically 8K. And once you've seen 8K, well, you've seen everything. You can see all the pixels. You're basically Neo in the Matrix. So now at this resolution on Ultra, same settings as before, but this time with AA turned off because you really don't need it at this resolution. What sort of FPS do we get on this system? Nearly 50. It's playable, definitely. I actually got a couple of kills in 8K resolution. Hashtag world first. Probably not, but I'm gonna claim the throne until someone else comes along. This system is a beast. Obviously, 4K gaming is a breeze, rendering is no problem. It looks pretty tasty as well. Well put together and brilliantly executed. The only downside is that I don't get to keep it. Maybe next time. 
I hope you enjoyed this one guys. If you want to learn more about this system and scan, I've put links down in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. A big thanks to Scan as well for sponsoring this video and letting me play with a system like this because it's not every day that you get to do that if you're a big nerd like I am. With that said, have a nice day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you in the next one.